Okay, so I've powered up the power supply and all I've done, nothing's changed with the setup. There we go. And I've just got this connected to the voltmeter. Similar one to the one Gerald uses, about £40 it cost me. Before I start, uh, this is one of the transformers that I used before. Um, I've got two of these and unfortunately um, I started to burn, well I haven't burnt this one out but it started arcing and it created horrible smells and it's just clearly way too powerful for this at full whack but I want to show you the sort of voltage reading that I get out of it once I've started it up so here we go, I'm going to start it up it does vibrate a lot because it's a bit Heath Robinson, as you can see. It's not particularly well well put together. Uh, so it does. There there are a lot of vibrations, although it's very interesting that at various intervals, as I ramp up the power, um, there it, it goes through a stage of vibration, then it calms down again. So again, input please. That would be very nice. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that, but here we go. So. Starting at 800, doesn't get going until about there we go, 920. So it's fairly moving, and this is really interesting. So we've got about 93 volts coming out of it, AC volts, and as I turn up the power. Let's get to 120-ish, which is about 123 volts, and so we're at 935. Now, as you remember, the maximum on this is 2200, so we've got quite a way to go before we reach the maximum. It's vibrating a bit, a bit of vibration on the table, but let's go and uh, see where, how far we get. So it's smoothed out quite a bit now. 150, 160, 165, 200. And the setup's starting to vibrate quite a bit now. vibrating a lot, stuff dancing on the table, you can see. And then, magically it stops. So, 453 volts, and we're about halfway.
steam. It gets to about 800 volts and then it, it goes into overload. So I'll just show you that. Okay, uh, so that's just the output of it. Obviously it goes above 800 volts. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to do with that. <clears throat> so this is the other amplifier uh, transformer. I apologize. So I'll just show you all the details of that. Um, interesting here. I don't really know what this means. Secondary, two times five kilovolts, but an amplitude of 15 kilovolts. Don't know too much about transformers at all, so um, I don't know, really know how that's possible because for me, two times five is 10, but hey, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna detach the voltage meter and I'm going to stick in the usual set up with a, a little homemade spark gap. I haven't tuned it for anything. Um, when this one started arcing and doing really really bizarre things and interfering with the motor and the, the control system and all that stuff it would start cutting out, cutting in, cutting out. Uh, <clears throat> I managed to get so usually I can tune this for anywhere between 7 and 15 kilovolts with a normal off-the-shelf washing machine motor pump. Um, but I was able to get this up to 40. Um, yeah, 40 kilohertz. Um, and the arcing was just unbelievable, it was quite scary. Um, I also have bought one of these, well, I say one of these, here we go, an induction stove coil. And um, it was quite electric actually, putting my hand over the top of that when it was maxing out, because I didn't realise what was going on until I could start smelling the burning from the transformer um, because I want to see what the health benefits of this setup are uh, so I'll, I'll get this sorted out and then we can take a few measurements and uh, see what's going on 